Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. So, one, ignore the clothes. I'm doing a shopping haul. I haven't moved the clothes yet. People been asking me, oh, are you going to review uh, Queen Supreme Court from this past week where um, Boo T.S. Madison has someone named Messy C. I am not familiar with who Messy C is um, at all. I did watch the episode. Um, <laughs> I love Maddie. Love Maddie. I watch Queen Supreme Court um, when I can, and I I caught it. It was a lot of things. It was a lot of things. So people kept I'm seeing my microphone. People kept saying, you know, could I get what I thought about it? Okay, and this is what I think about it. We've seen since the episode aired that, you know, Maddie posted how, of course, Maddie make her drink strong, okay, very, very strong, and, excuse me, she made Messy C some drinks, so Messy C had been drinking all day, and by the time they started, you know, to do the show, Messy C was drunk, um, but not knowing that and just watching the show, Messy C was a full ass mess. Like it was weird because you kept seeing Maddie look like what the fuck is going on here? Like this is so awkward. It was a thing to where Messy C was so what well, I, I I think everyone said he drunk or high. Like I don't think anyone thought that was him being normal. They thought he owned something. Either he took some drinks, took some pills, smoked some weed. It was something. Watching it, it was just. It was crazy. It almost wasn't entertaining because, you know, you watch the show to hear them talk about the, these different events and kind of comment on it. And Messi kept, like, going off topic and just talking and babbling, you know, standing up, shaking his ass. It was a full-on mess, if you ask me. And you see how Maddie kept trying to steer him in the right direction and kind of keep him focused. And it kind of wasn't working. You know, the whole hair thing, flipping the hair, taking the wig off putting the wig on, taking off the little blue top, whatever, put on, put on a little bustier. It was just a lot. I watched most of it. I think I watched over an hour of it. It was very hard to watch the whole hour, the, the month that I watched because I was so, like, I was aggravated with it. But I know people love that kind of foolishness. I like Queen Supreme Court when is Maddie is a coherent code you know other judge and they are talking about the stuff he was talking and half the time I could not understand what he was saying um it was a lot of babbling it was a lot of bitch 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 it was a lot of that it was a lot of just Maddie looking around like what the fuck did I get into um I like how Maddie stayed composed and professional because at any point it was it was cra it was a crazy show. I was just you know even going in about how he didn't know who Anita Baker was, so that part was kind of crazy. Um, seeing how he wondered if the person in the in in the audience at the award show could smell Nicki Minaj's coochie. It was just a lot of things that you know what I'm saying. I don't think was appropriate, and it was extra. And I like how Maddie was like, you know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly this and allegedly that. Because you don't want, you don't want us to ever be where you have a co-host there saying stuff on your platform. And then you get held accountable for it because it's on your platform. It was just a mess, if you ask me. And not a mess as in, oh my God, the show is over. Not that. A mess in the aspect of that wasn't a good hosting situation. That person well, and I, I, this is what I also feel. I feel like, you know, you can get drunk and have fun and, you know, whatever and, and, and do shows. I've been on here before, a little bit inebriated. It was what it was. Um, but I still think you have to still have some kind of cooth and just responsibility to be entertaining. 
I wasn't entertained. I mean, I was not entertained. I was I was aggravated. I got tired of him standing up shaking his ass. I just I got even when he pulled his pants down to show his ass. I said, "What is? What the fuck is going?" I was confused the whole time. I was just as confused as Maddie was. You know, even Messi talking about how he got four baby mamas. I said, "Really? Four? I mean, I can't." I, Girl, I don't know. If you, if you like it, I love it. But yeah, that is my opinion. I mean, I watched it. I didn't... I did not enjoy Messy C. I enjoyed Maddie. I enjoyed watching Maddie having to deal with the situation. And even when Maddie would be like, you know, what's what's the verdict in this? And then he would go off on a little tangent about other stuff. And she just kept trying to kind of like, okay. 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 To the point where when they was calling... um, Who do they call? They called someone, and he was supposed to be like the the manager, and he was just it was it was just crazy. It was just not organized. It was I mean, he was clearly under the influence. Um, at one point, Maddie was like, "Did you take some pills?" Because it, it was crazy. It was extra. He was sweating. I was, and I'm not a person to say don't have him back. I won't say that. What I will say is, hopefully, if you do have him back. Hopefully, he's just better. I mean, it just wasn't entertaining. And again, I don't know what he does. I went to his Instagram and seen he's like a entertainment type, inter, you know, person who does little club appearances or whatever. So, I get that part. But I'm like, even the videos I saw, I was like, I just kind of didn't find it funny. Which is the weird thing. I'm like, I'm like you know, he does not, he not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? But he, because he has, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. So I'm like, he is a lot of people's cups of teas. But I feel like this particular episode was not the, this episode was worse than when Shakana and Lil Mo was on the, the, the time together. It's worse. It was worse than that. And I thought that was the worst one because Lil Mo was so boring and just didn't do shit. Um, but this particular one, I was just not impressed. I was like, oh my God, Maddie, don't bring him back no more unless he can be sober. Um, it was a mess. It was a full-fledged mess. I watched about a good five minutes of the after show because I tried to support Maddie because you know, you want to support who people who, you know what I'm saying, you like. And I'm just like, I just, you know, and people want me to review her show weekly but I'm just like, you know, sometimes I don't have the time to watch it when it comes on, comes on on Monday because my my review schedule is so busy. So, that's why I'm not recording this. It is currently 3.38 a.m. on early Friday morning. I have to go to bed to get up for work. But I wanted to get it out real quick. But, yeah, I mean, it was a mess. It was a goddamn mess, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And I just don't know what to do about it. I mean, I would not watch it again. I love how Maddie tried to make the best of it, even posting clips and saying, like, I made him drink too strong. You know what I'm saying? He came with the messiness because he did. And, again, some people enjoyed it. I didn't. I was like, bitch, no. Like, I want to hear the conversations. Like, nothing that he said was funny. Like, on a regular... Like, it, was, it wasn't too funny. It was little funny stuff here and there. But for the most part, I just wasn't laughing. Um, and I think Maddie is funny when she has the proper co-host person that they can bounce off each other. It's enjoyable. That wasn't enjoyable because half the time you seen Maddie just trying to realize what the fuck was going on. And, you know, Messi C just talking and twerking and bending over and taking his pants up, taking his pants down. Bending over to get something under the table. All this extra, extra, extra. You know what I'm saying? My dick 11 inches long. Well, okay. Congratulations. Um, Just a lot. Okay. Uh, the wig on. The wig is off. Face full of makeup. It was just a lot to deal with. And not only that, it's late on a Monday night to have it on. It's just foolishness. And so... I hope whoever Maddie has on their next is just able to know what they're coming into. And that's what I don't like when people go on her show and they don't know what to do. You see what her show is. If you can't play off her, don't go on the show because you bring the show down on your and, and down in the aspect of you as a co person look bad. And people are like, why Maddie bring that person? They ain't even good. Um, so I'm hoping whoever she chooses next, like knows I can't come high and drunk and not able to do what we're supposed to do. The point of Maddie's show is let's talk about these things in pop culture 
And we kind of crack jokes about it. And that's the point of the show. But if you sitting there drunk the whole time yelling and just not making no plum sense, I don't want to watch it. I don't. I, I, sw- I swear watching the hour that I watched was I was like, oh my God. And at one point, I think I just had it on and I was like scrolling Instagram. Like I wasn't really fully watching it because I was like, okay, maybe it's going to get better. Maybe he going to like, he going to stop being extra. Because at first I thought he being extra to be funny and he doesn't realize it isn't funny. And then maybe once Maddie keeps looking at him and he see she not laughing, he'll kind of calm down and just kind of be a regular hype self and just, you know, do whatever. And that never happened. I mean, the whole episode, Maddie looked just utterly confused. Like what the fuck is going on? I mean, that part was funny. And I'm just like, I just don't know how to take it. I was like, girl, I just don't. What what do you do? I mean, you just don't have him back unless he can do the job. And that's the thing about having a co-host. They have to know what their job is. Like, it wasn't the Messy C show. But he made the whole show about him. But at the end of the day, I feel like if I saw him do that, I wouldn't want to book him. Because I can't even get a word in edgewise. And you just over here twerking your ass, which you said was real, but we know it's fake. It was built by Mattel, but it looks fabulous. Um, but again, I, in the whole, I fucked, I got for it. I fucked them and did this. Okay. Sometimes I want to, you know, uh, I want to fuck the guy. Sometimes I want to fuck a girl. Sometimes I want both. I'm looking like, well, God damn it. Okay. If you say so. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And I can, I just did not enjoy it. I didn't. And I typically like Queen's Court when I watch. And again, again, it wasn't anything to do with Maddie. It was a goddamn co-host. I was looking like, bitch, no. So, you know, that's my review of it. I didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't like Messy C. I didn't. He was too goddamn messy. It was drunkenness and whatever. And we know now that, oh, yeah, he was drunk. But I feel like as an, and when you are a professional influencer, influencer, YouTube person, IG person, whatever, you can't, I just don't believe going to the, to to the, to the to the gig and then giving a half ass a half ass performance because he was a little bit drunk on the after show too I'm looking like this shit is kind of crazy um but yeah I don't know I just if he on there again I wouldn't watch I would not I would have someone would have to call me and tell me girl it was good this time send me proof send me a good two minutes of conversation that wasn't just incoherent and then maybe I'll tune in um other than that I was like no thank you I'm good, love, enjoy. Anyway, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace.